But now I'd like to introduce the Academy Administrator, Barry Mulcahy, who will uh, give out the individual achievement awards. Thank you, Bill. I'm here to, uh, to do the Academy Awards, um, just like on TV. The, before I do that, I want to tell you a little story about the significance of what I think is happening here today. Uh, I came to work for the Vermont Department of Corrections when I was 22 years old. It's, uh, um, and I had a high school diploma. And I went back to college as a correctional officer part-time. I was in the 10-year plan, as they say, and achieved my bachelor's degree um, working as a correctional officer. It was critical to my development. And what I can tell you is I would not be where I am today had I not made that important. Now, the significance of what just happened is part of it is each one of you now has 16 college credits. Okay, and I don't know if you if you priced college credits recently, but there is a monetary value to that. Others of you have earned a scholarship that you may or may not choose to act upon. But could I just have the following people rise? Michael Allen, Melissa Berry, Christopher Haggett, Crystal Holmes. David Martinez, Adam Miguel, Barbara Mumford, Krista Petrie, and Zira Zahn. Each of you has earned, as a result of your grade point average, a level of scholarship from this institution should you choose to act upon it based on the articulation agreement that was just signed. Now, one of you has the highest GPA and is fact, in fact earned an increased um, award. And with that, when I say this name, would you come on up? Uh, Michael Richard Allen, would you come on up? Highest GPA at a 99.5. Please take seats. Another award that we give at Academy Ceremonies is an Outstanding Leadership Award. And I believe that the, the correctional officer is, that leadership is integral to your role. Uh, generally, you'll leave this academy, you'll supervise between 25 and 50 men or women in a housing unit setting, where you will use a multitude of supervisory and leadership skills to successfully man that unit for your eight hour shift. So we pay attention to leadership at Academy. And there's been many, many displays of it over the last five weeks. However, in the final analysis, the Outstanding Leadership Award goes to Eric D. Blob. Eric, would you come on up? Thank you.